Hi guys. So in this lesson, what we're going to do is find the equation of the tangent and the normal to a curve. Now, there's a strong connection between tangents and derivatives because the derivative actually gives you the gradient of the tangent of the curve. So it would be nice to and certainly very useful to be able to find the equation of a given tangent. Now, what is a tangent? Well, a tangent is a straight line that touches the curve, well, that just touches the curve at a particular point like that. So it's just touching it there. It doesn't cross it. Um, it just touches it just once. That is the tangent. The normal, the normal to the curve, so that is the tangent to the curve y equals f of x at this point. The normal to the curve y equals f of x at that same point is this line here. Let me try and draw it there. Now what have I drawn? Well, I've drawn a perpendicular line. So the normal is perpendicular to the tangent. This is the normal. Okay, that's it. That's a tangent, that's a normal. Now we're going to find the equation of both. So to find the equation of a line, look, I've given the straight line equations here, section 2.1. This is the formula that I am going to focus on. This y minus y1 equals m to x, m into x minus x1. This is my favorite formula. As reasons I've said before, you just find the gradient and a point, and then you sub it into the formula. So that's what we're going to do down here. We, we need to find the we need to find the gradient well we need a point we need a point a gradient and the formula so let me write those three things we need a point we need the gradient and we need the formula so let's start with let's start with the point the point. So it says, find the equation of the tangent and the normal to the curve y equals x squared at x equals 3. So the point, we have, we have the x coordinate, but the y coordinate I don't have, but I can easily sub it in here. So when x is 3, y is 3 squared, which is 9. So let's just, let's actually show that working. So at x equals 3 at x equals 3 y equals 3 squared which is 9 therefore the point is 3 9 easy next thing we we need is the gradient now the gradient how do i find the gradient well there's the gradient formula if i'm dealing with straight lines but when i'm dealing with curves the way we find the gradient is the derivative. Remember that the derivative gives you the gradient. So whenever you see the word gradient or slope, um, it usually means you need to differentiate unless you're dealing with actual um, straight line geometry. But when you see that word gradient, think differentiate. So I'm going to differentiate this. So to find the gradient, I need to differentiate y equals x squared. The derivative dy dx equals 2x. That's, that's how we differentiate 2 times x and bring down the power. So the derivative is 2x. And the derivative at, um, I'm going to write it like this dy dx at x equals 3 equals 2 times 3, which is 6. So the gradient of this function when x equals 3 equals 6. Now, be careful. That is the gradient of the tangent. So I'm going to write here m and a little capital T, if I can say that, a little capital T, the gradient of the tangent equals 6. If the gradient of the tangent equals 6, the gradient of the normal, m with a little capital N, equals negative 1 over 6. 
I have definitely gone over that in previous lessons. The perpendicular line, you flip it and change the sign. I'll do one more example. If your m t was three quarters, then your m normal is negative four over three. That is um, essential that you know how to do that. So now I have the gradient for the tangent and I have the gradient for the normal. Now, next thing I need to do is sub it into the formula. Normally, no pun intended, you would be asked to find one of them, find the equation of the tangent or find the equation of the normal. It's rare they'd actually say find the equation of the tangent and the equation of the normal, but I just wanted to show you how to do both. And both, uh, you do both the exact same. You get the point, you get the gradient, and you sub it into the formula. The only difference is for the tangent, you use this gradient, and for the normal, you use this gradient, the negative reciprocal. So the formula is y minus y1 equals m into x minus x1, straight from the formula booklet. And this is why I like it. You subbing, you're subbing in your point y minus, let's actually write over here, x1, y1. So it's y minus 9 equals m so for the for the tangent it's 6 into x minus 3 and i'm just going to multiply this out give me y minus 9 equals 6x minus 18 and why not put it in this form y equals 6x plus i'm oh, sorry minus 9 so it's negative 18 plus 9 so this is the gradient of the tangent. Um, maybe I should have given it a little title here. So not that. I'm going to make this. This is tangent. And then this will be the normal. So the normal is the same thing. It's y minus y1, same point, equals m. This is the only thing I'm changing. Instead of 6, it's negative 1 over 6. m into x minus x1. Um, do I want to leave it like this? Probably not. Let's put this in, in the other form. So I'm going to multiply across by 6. So this is 6y minus 54 equals negative x minus 3. 6y neg minus 54 equals negative x plus 3, because I'm doing minus x and then minus times minus is plus. And I'm going to bring or add this x over here. So this is x plus 6y x plus 6y, and then minus 57 equals 0. So look, it didn't ask me to put it in, in any particular form. The tangent I put in the form y equals mx plus c, and the normal I put it in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, only to show you the two different forms. So just to recap. What is a tangent? It is a straight line that touches the curve um, at one particular point. And when I say touch, I mean it just touches and moves away. It doesn't go through it or anything like that. The normal is, this, is a straight line that is perpendicular to the tangent. How do we get the equations of these? Well, you do these this three steps for the equation of a line. You need a point, a gradient, and a formula. The point you find from well, it'll give you the it'll give you part of the point if not all of the point. The gradient you find from differentiating that's the important bit, and then you sub into the formula, um, making sure to remember if it's the normal that you do this flip and change the sign.